Southern California is known for its pristine coastline, but just a few miles away from this sandy paradise lies a 1,000-acre oil field right in the middle of Los Angeles. I mean, I didn't buy here uh, thinking this was going to happen in my backyard, and uh, it, I would have had second thoughts knowing if this was going to happen to even live here. Gary Glass and his neighbors are seeing their dream homes crack before their eyes, and they blame the increased production at the oil fields next door. Following recent methane leaks, residents found out that drilling picked up and that the exploration company is actually using fracking to extract the oil. Fracking is happening completely unregulated in the state of California. Oil and gas companies do not have to say where they frack or what of the 600 toxic chemicals they're injecting into water, possibly close to your drinking water. Fracking, or hydraulic fracturing, is the process of pumping high-pressure water, chemicals, and solids into the ground to fracture the rock and extract fuel that would otherwise be unavailable. The company which operates the largest urban oil field in America is conducting its own study as to what sort of effects fracking will have on this neighborhood. But neighbors here are worried that they'll never find out the true answers about what's really happening underneath their homes. Wastewater injection from fracking is linked to earthquakes and property damage. And the U.S. Geological Survey linked wastewater wells from fracking to earthquakes. The concern over seismic activity is especially high in the Los Angeles area because of the oil field's proximity to an active fault, which has the potential of a magnitude 7.4 earthquake. Many places where you have a lot of water being injected into a broken rock, it tends to move, either on the surface or at depth. That movement, experts say, could pose a danger to an area all too familiar with disaster. In 1963, the Baldwin Hills Reservoir collapsed, killing five people and destroying 60 homes. Geologists concluded that decades of extraction in the neighboring oil field led to the rupture. The foundation, I don't know what's going on under my house. I don't want it to, if we do get an earthquake, I'm sure with all these cracks, it's just going to probably just rip it all open. The state couldn't afford any type of damage, and, uh, and not just with the, the, uh, the earthquakes, but the millions of gallons of our drinking water that they'll be contaminating and putting into the ground. The oil and gas industry has launched a public relations campaign claiming fracking is safe since it has been happening for decades. For 1.2 approximately million times fracking has occurred in this country, there's not been a single incident reported of water contamination. The industry has also launched an offensive to confront regulation and criticism. These fossil fuel giants influence policy enormously. They spent $747 million lobbying Congress to get the Safe Drinking Water Act exemption. That is a contamination of our democracy. The efforts of big oil and gas have only emboldened the anti-fracking movement here on the West Coast. No fracking way! No fracking way! In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT. No, no, no.